Well, we can keep my eye out for a drone uh, for a while, actually. Um, as a lot of you watching this channel will know, I'm metal detect. Um, those of you that didn't and would like to watch some metal detecting videos, click up there. But what I was looking for was a drone uh, that was small enough. Well, the main things that were putting me off of, of drones, to be honest, were the size. Because being a detectorist, it would be a pain in the backside to have to drag a, a drone miles away from the car and then uh, you know when you finish with it after either walk back to the car or try and stash it in a bush or whatever well you know so you don't have to worry about it getting stolen so i wanted a drone that was small i wanted a drone that was small enough to just put in a rucksack um when i'd finish with it and the other thing as well is only having a, a fairly small budget to spend on the drone it was a battery life a lot of the drones with the budget I was looking at around about £100, you'd be looking six, seven minutes flight time at best. So it was size and battery life uh, were the two most important things to me. So I started looking around and I found this little beauty. Uh, it's the Tello, uh, DJI Tello. Um, now, what appealed to me about it was the size. Uh, I'll show you. I mean, this literally fits into a, a, a biscuit tin uh, and then into your rucksack. It's incredibly light as well. And 14 to 16 minutes flight time from it. There is downsides, though, um, to it. So the height is 10 metres uh, and 10 metres only. It doesn't have GPS, but it does have uh, image uh, stabilization cameras these two dots you can see there so it keeps itself really pretty stable you can do lots of funky uh, trips uh, tricks with it um, you can uh, make it flip and you can uh, make it circle around you 10 meters I mean that's higher than a house so again as a detectorist would I be able to use any footage from any higher than that anyway probably not actually because uh, I'd be showing too much of my land everyone would know where I was detecting and in distance, so you've got 10 metres in height, in distance, you've got 100 metres. Um, again, more than uh, adequate uh, for, for what I needed. So main advantage, battery life, 14 to 16 uh, minutes and size. It is tiny. It's controlled by your mobile phone as well, which was another real bonus. So your control box is your mobile phone and I love that idea again because it's something else that you haven't got to carry around with you so let's take a look at the DGI Tello in flight so there she is and uh, we're going to take off so uh, we literally I'll, sh I'll show you the screen uh, that you get in your mobile phone uh, in a minute but it's uh, very very simple very easy to do and there it goes um, so pretty cool I'm not doing anything with the controls at all at the moment it's just holding itself uh, really pretty stable fairly windy as well today so and then we can do a few little tricks let's see if we can make it flip here we go flips Whoa. There she is. And we'll take her up. And away. Okay, so we'll take a look at how you control the Tello drone from your mobile phone. So we just launched the uh, Tello app, which you just download on uh, Google Play or iStore or whatever. Then we've got to connect it because it's connected using Wi-Fi. 
Um, so I just need to turn the Wi-Fi on, obviously on my phone, find the Tello, uh, connect to that and go back to the app. That's it, we're all uh, connected now. I'll just take myself and you can see now I've got whatever the drone's in, I just see straight away on my mobile phone. Slide to take off, couldn't be any easier. And oh, and what happened there was I had a twig in the way of one of the propellers. So let's just move it so it's clear and we'll take off again. And there we go, we're in the air. Very, very uh, easy uh, to control. You can see I'm just pushing on the uh, left uh, joypad there. Um, that's your up and down uh, on the left and you're turning round. And then the joypad on your right is your uh, direction. So very, very easy to control. And it does keep itself pretty stable. Um, I mean, I've got friends that have got drones that are far more stable, um, but they cost a lot more money than, uh, than 90 pounds. You can see there, uh, it's giving the Wi-Fi uh, warning. Um, it seems to do that quite prematurely, to be honest. You, um, I mean, that, that was nowhere near uh, its range and it's given the Wi-Fi signal. It's never uh, actually caused a problem. So real, real easy uh, to control. And uh, then we're going to, I'm going to change it into fast mode. The fast uh, does really drain the battery and it also uh, affects the quality of the footage that you record <clears throat> but if you're in high wind it makes the propellers work a little bit faster uh, so it makes it more stable uh, and I, I would say this drone because it is small and light it's really susceptible to wind um, so you can see the image kind of starting to struggle uh, a little bit now on fast it's almost like uh, the camera can't keep up with the speed that the drone moves at on fast. So you get this kind of glitching uh, effect. Uh, and when you stop, like you see there, you get that real judder um, when you stop. So best um, just to use it in slow mode, in all honesty. Get longer battery life out of it as well. But as I say, fast can be handy if it's really, really windy. So, I mean, the picture quality is not perfect. Um, and it's powered by Wi-Fi, it's connected by Wi-Fi, and actually these fields have a lot of uh, overhead cables uh, around them, which does affect the drone. But I think if you just want a drone for metal detecting, that is simple and easy to use, if you want a selfie drone, essentially, then the DJI Tello could be the drone for you. Okay, so I've just got one of those biscuit tins uh, you get for Christmas. And uh, I just dropped the drone in there. And although you get 14, 16 minutes battery life anyway, what I found quite handy is just get a battery pack, five pound uh, from Poundland, keep the battery pack in the box. And then even if you do use all your available battery, chuck it back in your rucksack, get it charging up. And then when you take it out, it's fully charged again. So uh, I find generally I can get uh, two charges out of that, uh, that battery pack from Poundland. Pop it in the pack. And you're good to go detecting. <laughs>